what's going on here? It's a Bob Mom Reviews here. Today we're going to be reviewing two Nintendo DS games. First off, we have Scribble Knots and Sonic Rush. Thank you guys for watching the Bob Mom Reviews and uh, enjoy the review. Alright guys, so we are going to uh, play these on my DSi. So first let's just start off with Sonic Rush. A little bit more interesting game. Uh, Scribble, Scribble Knots is actually really fun, but um, Sonic of course is uh, well known. So again guys, I've been just doing handheld reviews, so tonight be sure to check out my... That's really well. Tonight be sure to check out my channel because uh, sometime today I'll be uploading a review of Super Mario, uh, no, not Super Mario, uh, it's called Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, I believe. Got it for Christmas, uh, played it a lot, actually, and I'm gonna review it. So, uh, so as you can see here, the startup menu, we have Sonic, and right here we have, it just says gameplay, battle play, and options, and then the B button right there is to go backwards and do gameplay. And it brings us to the screen to select a character. I have unlocked Sonic, Blaze, and just Sonic. I want to unlock uh, Knuckles. I believe you can do it. And we're going to select that. And you have this whole world here. We have Tails up here telling us like our information here, like our zones, how many diamonds we've collected. And this is our world here. So the world is basically throughout levels. So as you can see, this is Zone 2, Zone 1, and then you go to Zone 2, and then I'm at Zone 3. So we're just going to be doing a couple gameplay. Or some gameplay, not a couple gameplay. We'll be like this for a little while. I'm not trying to make this too big of a review. But overall, this game is really fun. You're basically just being Sonic, and it's for the Nintendo DS. And here we go. And A is to jump, and then the um, right D pad is to go. Very fast paced game, so if you really like, um, oh, and I missed it. If you like fast paced games, uh, this is one to check out because obviously Sonic is fast paced. And it's just really crazy. B is to wait, yeah, B is to sprint. A you can jump and then sneak it. Oh, and you lose tons of coins every time. Oh, I forgot what you have to do. Oh, this guy sucks. There. And I hit that again. I, Sorry, guys. Look, when, oh, it's a reflection. <clears throat> sorry, guys. Like, when you're playing a DS game and you're just using a regular camera to record, it's kind of hard not to get glares, but to still get, like, a good video. Okay, that should do it. No. Come on. Just want to complete this level. I just try to. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to do this review here. Overall, Sonic. Uh, Sonic Rush is a very fun game for the Nintendo DS. I would recommend it. Uh, it's definitely a great game. Um, I'm pretty sure some of you guys are watching this and be like, oh, I've played this game so many times. You're, I know what to do right there. But um, I've played this game you know, quite a few. I'd rather play this, or I'd rather play Super Mario for the DS rather than this game. But this game is really fun. Very fast paced because it, obviously it's Sonic. And um, overall, a great game. So uh, we're going to move on to our next review which is going to be on scribble knots uh here we go all right guys we just got scribble knots in and scribble knots is a very fun game for some information on the actual game yourself basically you could type in almost anything and it will appear it just cannot be trademarked so if i typed in a baseball bat it would appear if i typed in a bicycle it would appear so 
this game is really, really cool. I mean, how much time they spent to make every single one of these games. Like, literally anything you really think that's not trademarked. So I couldn't type in, like, Mario or anything like that. So there is levels, and you have to think up things like what would go in the level. For example here, um, if there's a, one of the levels, no, let's just say an example. If there's a house on fire, right? And there's all the firefighters, and they're missing one thing. They're obviously missing. They need to put it out with, like, water. So you could type in uh, right here this little thing right here and you click it and you type in whatever you want so if I wanted to type in um, like I was just talking about water water and it's gonna ask you do you mean water beverage or water environment so we'll do environment and check and there you go you get water now this doesn't really look like water I know, because the camera is not really picking it up, but that is um, water, and then you use the stylus for him to uh, walk around. So let's get something like, if I wanted a sword, for example. And there we go, we got a sword. And you can just drag a sword to him, and now he has a sword. So it's a very fun game. Uh, I would recommend it as well as Sonic Rush. It's a very uh, complicated game, actually, once you get into it. Because um, you really do have to figure it out. So we're just going to do my profile. And as you can see here, you're going to see a house, like a cash register, and then that. And we're just going to click the castle. Um, and as you can see, there's all these different worlds. And what you have to do is complete worlds and get something like these little points here, or coins, or whatever you want to call it. And you can buy certain uh, levels with it. So we're just going to play level 2 and show you guys how this game actually works. So we're going to click 2, 1. And as you can see here, it's going to give you a little information here. So as you can see, there's a clown. Wait. Welcome to advanced mode. Advanced mode is inactive anytime you put replay level, level 3 objects. Okay, so as you can see here, there's a clown. Wait. Hint. Help the birthday boy break the piñata. So if we were going to help him break it, what does he need? Well, obviously, like a stick. Oh my god. The okay, that is something's wrong with this touch screen. Look, C comes with this V, so I'm guessing X. Okay, that is stupid. My touch screen sucks. Um, look, I will directly put it with the stylist. Ready? V. Okay, that, I don't, I will try, um, and that's doing it again. Okay, that is stupid. Anyway, guys, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm going to have to take a look at it. Um, if you know what's going on with it, let me know in the comments. Uh, <clears throat> sorry, I trust touch screens a little off or something. But what you would do is you get a stick, and then you'd give it to the boy, and then it usually give you a star. When the star appears, it completes the level, and it gives you a certain amount of um, these little points here. And you complete the levels, and the levels keep getting harder and more complicated. So yeah, guys, that was a review of Scribblons and Sonic Rush. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I apologize for not uploading this whole week. I was actually really busy with school and um, some other things. So uh, don't worry. If, like, I'm not uploading. Just no, I'm not. I'm going to upload. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.